Hello parents, how to be tactful during meals? Mm. Sometimes we take things for granted. We think that just because all the kids are gathered around us that we can just say anything. We forget to think about their feelings. And one of this is usually some issues. For example, you compare the grades of your child with a brother, a sister, or maybe a cousin, or maybe a best friend. I have one student right now who feels so bad because she's being compared with her best friend. And in many cases, when one mother compares the grades of one brother to a younger brother, or maybe to an older brother, and usually it goes like this, like, oh, tingnan mo si Robert, oh, ang tataas ng grade ng math, madali lang naman yung math, bakit ikaw? Ang baba na naman ng grade mo. You know, and that really makes the kid lose his appetite. And that embarrasses the kid. He may just be a kid, but mind you, he has a heart, he has feelings. So, dapat pag-iingatan yung mga ganon. Minsan naman, pag medyo may mga bisita, nandyan yung tita, tito, or whoever is visiting around, and you have meals, and biglang sasabihin na, ay, ayan si Carla, mahiyain niya, she's very shy. You have to stop labeling the kid, even if it's true that she is shy. Wag nang sabihin, because most of the time, yan na yan yung nasa utak niya, I'm shy, I'm shy, I'm shy. At lalong nadadagdagan yung kanyang consciousness that she is shy. But if you encourage the kid like, ah, magaling yan si like that, why don't you focus? Pag may ibang tao, why don't you bring up things that could make her shine? Like, ay, magaling yan sa drawing. Or even if we say, mahina siya sa like this, maybe you don't have to mention that for the moment. Anyway, those visitors cannot help. Hindi naman siya matutulungan ng mga bisitang yon. And you have a meal time, so you should enjoy the food while you have nice, productive topics. So bring out the best in your kid. Magaling ba siya sa drawing? Very neat ba yung kanyang handwriting? Mm. Marunong na ba siyang magpack ng kanyang bags? Nauubos ba niya yung snacks niya or yung lunch niya? Marunong na ba siyang mag-ayos ng kanyang bed? I'm sure there must be many things that your kid can can do well. Now, if hindi, <laughs> kaninong kasalanan? <laughs> Sayo! <laughs> so, dapat turuan mo rin. Parang meron rin siyang makamtan na confidence at masasabi, Oh, mommy, I'm so good at this already. And yes, yes. And remember, the mother should be the first one to really push the kid. Not really push negatively, pero push the kid to be able to try. Yung try and try and try and never to fail. Now, the last thing that we should be very tactful about is pag dinala na yung school card, and hmm, <laughs> you see a decline in the grades that say dati 87, tapos biglang 85. Oh, tapos biglang negative kaagad ang reaction. Which is normal, ha? Most would say, oh, bakit ganon? Bakit bumaba? Anong yari? Oh, di ba ganon kaagad yan? Now, be conscious if there are people around. And she would say na it's 85 now, dati 87. And you can say, oh. Di bali, ngayon, minsan nangyayari yan. Alam ko yan, I understand that. O, di bali, mamaya mag-schedule tayo ng tutorial or mag-schedule tayo ng mga practice or worksheets mo sa math. You have to be the first one to acknowledge first and be grateful na may grade yung bata. Eh, what if hindi siya nag-take ng exam? Or what if umatra siya? Or what if, like that, you have first to to appreciate kung ano yung naipresenta. And then, check on what you can do together na maging mas maganda in the future. Be the first one to assure your kid that, ah, ngayon lang yan. Oh, bumaba 85. I bet you next time, sa next exam mo, tataas na yan. Baka higher pa ng 87 yan. So, let's do it right, okay? So, yun, mag-uusap kayo para medyo cool, relaxed. Because... Nahirap na nga sa math, dagdagan mo pa ng pressure or stress. And even you yourself, you will not feel good scolding your kid. Even if the intention is to, to pressure a bit so that the kid could improve or scold the kid dahil talagang nag-online games o kaya talagang nagtamad-tamaran, something like that. So, you have to be the first one to relax, stay calm, <laughs> at the same time, create a solution. You can say, oh, sige, ano bang study time natin? Siguro hindi pwedeng once a day lang tuwing Saturday. Baka pwede tayong mag-study time ng 2 p.m. 
or 4 p.m. after your nap, and then one more time sa 7 p.m. So in other words, you suggest, remember kung mahina ang bata sa isang subject, wag idiretso yung 1 hour. 20 minutes, break, 20 minutes, and like that. So get to know kung ano yung mas effective para sa bata. There are different kinds of methodologies. There are also different kinds of kids, and there are different ways of inspiring them. Just make sure you use a motivation na uh, positive and productive. But the first thing you need to do is to prepare yourself. Ikaw talaga. Because you paved the way for that kind of positive aura for learning. Bye-bye, everyone.